These are the top five most exciting technologies we'll see in phones. Over the years, phones have become our everything devices. There are cameras, our texting machines, our connection to the world, and sometimes we even make a call on them. There are a number of exciting developments in tech and we'll see them in phones eventually. Let's get to it. Coming in at number five, better biometrics for all. The fingerprint sensor is now on tons of devices. Samsung also has its iris scanner. Apple made a very big deal of its face ID system, and that may be where the industry is headed, for your head. Apple claims its face ID system is about 20 times more secure than its fingerprint sensor. Take a look at this video where CNET editor Scott Stein kept changing his appearance to see how well the tech would continue to recognize him. Xiaomi and Oppo are investing in similar tech. What other parts of your body will end up unlocking your phone in the future? I'm going to hope it stops at our faces. And number four is camera improvements. Recently, Sony introduced the world to a new image sensor that can shoot 48 effective megapixels. Yeah, we've seen big cameras on phones before. Remember the Nokia 1020 with its 41 megapixel shooter? It was bulky. The new Sony sensor is tiny. The tech will also make digital zooming less awful. As Sony's sensor takes over top end phones, expect what is now the top to hit the middle, the middle to hit the low end, and the low end to head to toys. Coming in at number three are bendable displays. What's keeping tablets from being phones? Well, common sense is one thing. Another is tablets are just not convenient to carry around without a bag or a giant pocket of some kind. Q bendable displays. Samsung has been working on a phone with a bendable display for years now. Reports say the company will introduce a phone with a seven inch screen that folds in half next year. Samsung has publicly shown off its bendable screen tech in the past as far back as 2011. This will be a staple in future phones. Number two is 5G wireless, and it's not too far in the future. We're talking about one gigabit per second speeds to your phone. That's insanely fast. The first 5G mobile devices are likely to be hotspots since they can afford to have a chunkier frame. 5G should be in phones shortly thereafter. 5G also has low latency, which should mean that it could be difficult to tell what's running from your phone and what's coming from the cloud. The first 5G networks in the US are expected this year. And at number one is new battery tech. I know, at first batteries seem like they're boring, but you know what's really boring? A phone without power. A research paper published in the journal Advanced Materials outlines a way to make rechargeable zinc air batteries. Right now, the majority of rechargeable batteries are lithium ion. In theory, zinc air batteries can hold five times more energy than a lithium ion battery. So what's holding zinc air batteries back? charging problems. The paper outlines a method to recharge zinc air batteries at a low cost. What's the timeline for this heading to phones? I'm not sure, but here's hoping it shows up sooner than later. Thank you to Lin Law for helping out on this top five and to you for watching. What tech do you want to see in your future phone? Let me know. I'm Ayaz Akhtar and I'll see you online.